Alright, we got everything cleaned up and uh, laid out here on our table in the order that it goes back in reassembly. Uh, we got our O-rings out. Uh, one of the things I like to do is take one of these toolbox drawer organizers, lay everything out in it, lay each the O-rings out where you can spread them out, see what you're working with and you're not as likely to lose some. If you drop one on the floor or something, gets up under a workbench, you may never find it. Uh, one of the things you want to do is when you're putting the O-rings on is just uh, get your right size O-ring and just stretch it over it. But try not to stretch it any more than necessary. Then pull it down into the right spot. And when I put these things together, one of the things I like to use is uh, this transmission assembly glue like for automatic transmissions and this I got here is Dr. Traney's assembly goo and it's like a grease I just use a little brush to put it on and it dissolves under heat I think it like a let's see 150 degrees or something it dissolves and dissolves into the oil and I use that just to uh, lube up the o-rings as you're putting it together seems to make everything go better. Um, one thing you want to do is these pistons. You want to take this nut off and slide this end housing off because there is an o-ring down in here that keeps it from leaking to the outside. Um, if you're not careful you will overlook that. But like I said you want to just take this nut off. Put this end of the rod here in a vise. Don't try to grip it around this part here because this is a seal surface. And don't try to grip it around this part right here. You just want to grip it right here in a vise. Then take your impact and zip this end off. And I always like to put a little dab of Loctite on this nut just to make sure that it don't come loose over time. And as soon as I get the O-rings on everything and get it ready to go back together, then we'll start with the reassembly process. Uh, here's our little O-ring talking about right here. Um, here's the piston assembly slid off of it and one of the things you want to do when you're replacing these o-rings get you a good o-ring pick and just get right up under it raise it up and just roll it right off. Get down inside holes with it and that kind of stuff. Like we've got our new o-ring on here and this little turn buckle a little pin slips in and out and holds it in place. Um, cleaned everything up. Mineral spirits. Want to check all this and make sure that the bushings and things are tight. Uh, the pin's tight and holding this and doesn't have any play at all. I've right, got our O ring on there. We'll just slip this back down on there. Slide it down until it stops. And I like to put a little Loctite on these nuts. Just make sure that it don't come off. Just put a little drop of red Loctite. Okay. I'll run it down tight. and uh, just do that for both of them. Take uh, your new O-ring and just roll it on there. This one's ready to go back in the hole. Alright, we got everything cleaned up. We got it dried off. Uh, all these little passages here, you want to make sure that you uh, take compressed air and blow it out good. and. Uh, get any trash or anything that may be in there. <clears throat> also, I like to uh, spray everything down with carburetor cleaner good after you get it clean. Then blow everything out with compressed air. Uh, we've got all these, just every one of these little passages. You want to be sure you blow them out good. Get it clean as you can. We're going to start out 
It's like getting these O-rings out down in here. These are the old O-rings for the seals to pistons. So I'm gonna reach down in there with our O-ring hook. Get them all out. down in the holes. Just kind of work them down in there. Get them started in the grooves. I had to take the O-ring pick and just push them down. <clears throat> but be sure not to put the sharp side into the O-ring because you can damage the O-ring. Just use it to only push them down in there. So got both of them in on this side. You want to make sure that these O-rings are not twisted or rolled or anything. You want to make sure they're seated down good into the bore. Alright, we've got those O-rings in. Take a little bit of our assembly lube and brush inside this bore with it. Coat the O-rings good. That'll just make it easier to put together. Stand it up. Go ahead and put our two pistons in. I'm going to brush a little bit of brush a little bit of assembly lube onto the piston. A little bit of O-ring. Drop it down into the holes. And brush this brush just a little bit on this leading edge. Right here. Try to get the camera. Just push it down in there. <coughs> Tap it a little bit with a rubber hammer and just want to make sure not to damage the O-rings. Same thing for the other side. Brush this O-ring good. Assembly lube. Brush this leading edge with a little bit of assembly lube. Drop it into the hole.
make sure everything works. Make sure they move back and forward and push them with your hands. Everything seems to be doing good. Alrighty. We're going to put our two valves in here in the center. And the little poppets goes on the bottom of those. I just put a little assembly lube to hold them in place. Put a little assembly lube on the end of the spring. Stick it up in there. And that'll keep it from falling out the end. Brush a little bit of assembly lube on the two O-rings. Just push them in until they bottom out. Double checking everything. Make sure. Everything's going back in place like it's supposed to. Then we'll put the two outside valves in place. Just want to lube everything up. Just push them down. Stick your little poppets in. Drop the little poppet down in there. Check our little O ring hook, line it up, a little hole down in here. Pop it in there. Drop a pressure control valve in. Now we got to put the spring and the pressure control. Use the magnet to hold all of this together. Put this little assembly lube on it to keep it in one place. Now I stick it together.
try this apart. I think we got spring and the little poppet down in there. I guess we got a little o ring on the outside. We're going to have to put a little lube on it. Tighten this up. <clears throat> and they make a tool, I imagine, to do this with. I ain't got one. I just take two flat blade screwdrivers, get them in a the slide on each side. Stick a nut in here in the middle and grab them. Just rotate it a little bit. It ain't got to be super tight. We're going to drop the solo little puppet valve in there. Put a little lube on our o ring. There we go. They seem to be working properly. Now we've got our two spool valves. Get everything cleaned up. Put a little lube on our O-ring. I'll put them in. We're going to stick our spool valves in from the bottom just to keep from having to uh, feed the o ring all the way down. Just put a little lube on each one of these little places, make it slide in better. Stick it up from the bottom. And my logic is if you feed these down from the top, the O rings is going to have to slide past all the passages. You may run the risk of cutting the o-ring, but if you just speed it up from the bottom, then the o-ring just runs in the smooth bore and you don't run the risk of cutting the o-ring. Alright, we got the uh, 
gasket laid up here ready to put the head on the end of the unit and you want to make sure that all your springs and little poppets are in place and we got this head cleaned up and ready and you just want to drop it right straight down on there start your bolts We're going to torque these bolts to uh, 45 foot pounds. Uh, we reference the uh, repair manual and it calls for 45 foot pounds on the bolts. We'll start all the bolts. I like to start in the center and work out from the center. I'm going to take my speed wrench, something you probably don't see much anymore. Speed wrench and just run it down, snug it up that center bolt and you can do this with the impact wrench just zip them down until you snug them up we're just going to keep working around tighten all of them up all right we've got our torque wrench set for 45 foot pounds Start with this center bolt, work out. Just keep working our way around the perimeter. Got them all torqued and we're going to go back double check each one of them just to make sure you got them all torqued. Alrighty, we got all those torqued to 45 foot pounds. And we're gonna turn it down and we're gonna to have to put all our little plugs back in the bottom. Let's start them all in here. And they're uh, tapered pipe threads. You don't have to get them super, super tight, just tight enough that they sell off. Run them in with my T handled Allen wrench.
All right, we got all those in. Now we got these two little brass screens and these little plugs that go back down in these holes right in here. Well, if you can see these two little holes right here, we got to get these little brass screens back down in there. And then these little cone-shaped bolts go down in there to hold them. I'm going to make sure all that's seated in there correctly. And we took these screens out in order to make sure everything was clean down in there. Let's get them started. Take the little cone shaped bolt. That one's distorted a little bit. I want to get it seated at the bottom of the hole. Find something to reach down in there and pull it back out. Cause that one's a little bit deformed. Not seating in the hole correctly. Let's see if I can take my leatherman tool and reach down in there and grab it. There we go. All right, we got both our screens situated back down in there right. We double checked, we screwed the little screws back out and double checked to make sure that the screens are seated correctly. It was a little bit of a tedious process, but we got it. Just run these down snug. All right, we've got everything inside the box back together. We're ready to put the bottom plate on it. We got our gasket. And it's best to uh, install these gaskets dry. Because that way you don't run the risk of silicone or any other kind of sealant getting into the valves and stopping those up. I'm just going to start all our bolts. Make sure we got the gasket right away. 